Did you know that some crypto companies work with market makers to manipulate token prices and create a demand for their token where none seems to exist? Join us today as we dive deep into the wild world of DAOs and market makers. Buckle up because we're about to unravel some shocking truths and expose some dark players among the world of market makers and DeFi. But before we go any further, let's make something clear. What exactly is market making? Market making refers to the practice of providing liquidity by continuously buying and selling assets. They play a crucial role in ensuring that there are enough buyers and sellers in the market, facilitating smooth trading operations. Think of them as a chef. Working behind the scenes, he ensures a steady flow of ingredients. But if his job isn't up to par, we're looking at a mass case of poisoning. Things can be manipulated on the crypto market, so some market makers have become a menace to the industry, engaging in activities such as wash trading, pump and dump schemes, and market manipulation, distorting market prices, and undermining market integrity. The main issue lies in the fact that incentives for market makers and the project's community don't align, which can be attributed to a few reasons. Profit motives. Market makers are driven by profit, so they primarily care about their own bottom line. This may lead them to exploit market inefficiencies as they prioritize their own interest over the project community's short-term versus long-term goals. Market makers may focus more on short-term gains, which is why they can exploit price discrepancies for quick profits. Risk tolerance. Market makers have a higher risk tolerance than investors and community members who are more conservative as they protect their interest. Market makers play a crucial role in providing liquidities and facilitating trading. Their profit-driven motives and potential conflicts of interest can lead to misalignment with clients' needs, potentially undermining trust and transparency in the market. It underscores the importance of investor awareness, due diligence, and regulatory oversight to mitigate risks associated with market-making activities. Think of them like the safety harness on our crypto roller coaster. It's vital to have, but if it's built up to code, it can lead to disasters. With that being said, today we'll be taking a look at a few projects that have worked with market makers in ways that are unethical at best and illegal at best. Let's jump right into it. Starting off with the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and Hydro Protocol. In this crypto saga, the alleged villain is none other than Moonwalker, a market maker with unlawful tricks up its sleeve. Consider a market maker, Moonwalker in this case, as somewhat of an orchestrator, using advanced bots to fabricate a display of artificial trading volume and price manipulation. Hydro Token, initially promoted as an innovative asset, facilitating app development on the Ethereum blockchain, is at the focal point of this high-stakes production. They engaged in synchronized buying, promotional activities, and selling off the asset to make a profit. Consequently, investors discovered themselves with devalued tokens. The performance ended with a meticulously executed pump and dump scheme, resulting in a chaotic market and shattered trust among investors. With this dizzying narrative in mind, it's essential to recognize the broader implications this had. The SEC's intervention brought attention to areas of the market that were previously hidden or obscured, dark corners, if you will. It also served as a stark reminder of the challenges faced by regulators in maintaining market integrity and protecting investors. Thankfully, Hydro Protocol didn't get away with their scam unscathed, as they faced a hefty fine of $2.8 million, and Moonwalker, the market maker, was fined $42,000. But what happens when a DAO forgets about the most important aspect of operating as a decentralized autonomous organization? Well... A recent event that stirred controversy is one that surrounds Arbitrum. The platform's shift to a decentralized autonomous organization, DIO, took an unexpected turn when the Arbitrum Foundation spent a colossal $1 billion without awaiting DIO members' approval. This move, seemingly contradicting decentralized governance, intensified with Arbitrum's association with Wintermute, a market maker linked to the Terra Luna collapse. Yep. That same Terra Luna we kept hearing about. Wintermute's rapid upcoming, similar to the troubled FTX, raises concerns about its practices, while its involvement in Arbitrum's token distribution adds skepticism. This narrative reveals broader issues within DeFi, 
sounding the alarm on regulatory challenges and the potential for major scandals. Not to mention their 300 million token stunt, which left investors empty-handed with their token's value gone with the wind. Just to add a bit of context, 160,000 wallets have claimed over 300 million ARB tokens, causing the value to drop by 90%. Yikes! The last villain we're mentioning today is HashK Exchange in Hong Kong, which has recently made headliners as its Bitcoin trading volume has skyrocketed, surpassing even industry giant Binance. In just 24 hours, the exchange recorded an astonishing 348 billion in trading volume, catapulting its total volume to 421 billion dollars. However, this meteoric rise hasn't gone unnoticed, and suspicions of wash trading have started to swirl within the crypto community, with CoinGate releasing their own expose on Hashkey at the end of last year. Now that we've highlighted some of the industry's bad players, it's worth plunging into the depths of market manipulation, learning about wash trading. This scandalous practice distorts market prices and misrepresents liquidity, leading investors to voluntarily burn their money by investing in what seems to be a successful project but, in reality, is a blatant, meaningless scam. This popular tactic is pretty common on the dark side of crypto and is similar to a magician's sleight of hand, creating an illusion of popularity and liquidity where none truly exist. The National Bureau of Economic Research exposes the true scale of this deception, revealing a startling revelation. More than 70% of trading volumes on unregulated crypto exchanges could be attributed to illegal wash trading, according to a report from the US National Bureau of Economic Research. It's a staggering figure that underscores how common fraudulent activities are within the industry. But what exactly is wash trading? Imagine a single entity acting as both buyer and seller, executing trades with itself to fabricate the appearance of high trading volume. This deceptive tactic distorts market prices and misleads investors about the genuine popularity and liquidity of a given asset. The crypto industry, despite its revolutionary potential, grapples with a legal grey area, making it challenging to regulate and curb fraudulent practices like wash trading. Government authorities acknowledge the inherent illegality of wash trading, but the classification of crypto assets adds complexity to regulatory efforts. While blockchain technology has brought transparency to trades, paradoxically, it also highlights every illicit maneuver. The crypto industry now stands at a crossroads. On one hand, the technology exposes illegal and fraudulent activities, demanding a higher standard of legitimacy. On the other, the absence of robust regulation leaves room for malpractices. Market makers, however, have started taking extra steps to try to limit the problem of wash trading. But how could they do that? Well, market makers can deploy advanced surveillance systems to detect and prevent wash trading activities in real time, kind of like an all-seeing eye, but monitoring trading activity. They can also work closely with regulatory authorities to develop and enforce rules and regulations aimed at combating wash trading. And of course, they can start being more transparent with their activity, which would help others understand whether or not there is malpractice going on. I know it all seems gloomy at this point, but there is a lot to look forward to. Flow traders, for example, aim for a future where market makers contribute to a more fair and transparent crypto landscape. They have deep industry knowledge and are compliant with current regulation in place. And of course, we have new players like Reform DAO that are trying to prove themselves. Although, one question still remains. Can just a few companies change the global perception of the crypto industry? I guess that is a question for another day. Anyways, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something useful by joining us on our little trip down Crypto Isle. And most importantly, Hope to see you in our next video.